question on the solstice, on the solstice. The solstice is always a gateway. Like I, I can always feel that we're, it's rolling, like we're rolling through something, we're turning over. But this one was not just a yearly gateway. This one was big. This was the gateway. Like I feel like Yule, we stepped into the new era. Like we are fully, uh -huh. our feet are on. But you, you see, the eras are long. <laughs> the eras are really, really, really long. So the threshold is kind of wide. And our feet are on it, but you know, sort of like our heels are on it and our toes are in the new reality, right? So I have no idea why I was saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but I forget what I was saying. Things are just that, the, just that we're really shifting into a new, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that was it. So, so we're on the threshold, this wide threshold. Our, our heels are on the threshold. Our toes are actually in the new world, the new era. And it's like the grounding that's being called for right now is building the foundation for the new world. It's like if we're building a new house for humanity, which we are, a new house of humanity. Right. We we need to put in a good, solid, strong foundation first and have that foundation grounded into the earth. And that's what I feel is going on for December and January, at least so far. I, don't, I, I feel like it might fade out before the end of January, but is that grounding that's being called for on the planet is really um, establishing the foundation so that we're starting off right. We do not want to build a, a, another house of cards like we've lived in for the last 2,000, 5,000 years. We want something enduring and sustainable, right, from now on. So we're having to start with that really good solid foundation. So grounding, grounding, grounding. Earthing, if you can actually do it, like get your feet out onto the planet, uh, wrap your arms around a tree, whatever you do to, to earth, <clears throat> that will that's helping because you're not only doing it for yourself, like your body is going through so many upgrades, everyone's body, the, the physical is going through massive upgrades right now. And it needs the support that you can get by grounding and earthing, which I consider two sort of different things like grounding, I think of as more of a mental exercise, a visualization, earthing is when you're actually you know got your cells in contact with the like got your skin in contact with the earth in some way and and allowing that energy to move through you so you're not just doing that to support your own body as it's going through these upgrades but every time you do that because the dividing boundaries between us have are fading at a phenomenal rate you are literally doing that for the energetic field of all of humanity as we were becoming more and more energetic beings, spiritual beings, and less material, dense, physical beings, mm -hmm. right? Those, it's only the matter that has a boundary, that has a perceived boundary. We know that that's false, right? Quantum physics, again, we know that that's false, but it's a perceived boundary. It's an edge. This is my edge, right? But in energy, that's absolutely not true. There's no boundaries to energy. Right. This goes on and on forever. I go on and on forever, just like I kind of diffuse, right? As we all do. Mm -hmm. So as the, as the material part of humanity breaks down, as the material part of, of the earth, I don't want to say humanity because the whole earth is shifting into higher frequency, light frequency, love frequency. And as that happens, we lose the division the separation that we used to believe in that we still probably kind of believe in but that's mm -hmm. getting fainter and fainter and i was thinking about love that's true of love right when you're feeling love you have no division between you and the object object that you're 
feeling love for, right? Like when you are feeling love for a pet or, or a child or your spouse or, or a sunset, you, the, the dividing line between you, do you notice that that kind of evaporates? Mm. That love is a bridge. It's the connection. It's the, it's the oneness. It's the field, right? Mm. Love is the fabric that we are all made of. And when you feel love, you tap into that oneness and you lose that sense of separation. That's part of why love is such a powerful, powerful process. And I'm just realizing as I say this, that explains why there's, I've always known that love consciousness is what the next phase is about, right? Goddess consciousness, Christ consciousness, if you want, that love consciousness is the heart consciousness is where we're going. Mm -hmm. And now I, it's just become clear to me. Oh yeah. Because that's the unity. That's the unified field. When we are in love, we are not separate. That if we're going to have a union, if we're going to all be one, it has to be through love. Right. And if we're all in love, we will be one. Mm -hmm. So that gives me actually a new idea of mm -hmm. what, we're, what we're developing into, what we're going into and how it, a little bit more of the mechanics of how that works. <laughs>